I have been making the stuffing recipe for years and it's always the first side dish to go during Thanksgiving. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So you wanna get a casserole dish and go ahead and butter it up all around the sides. And on the bottom, I ended up getting another smaller one because I didn't want to overcrowd that pan. So we are using Hawaiian sweet rolls. Um, keep in mind, there's also like butter rolls too, um, but just the original ones are perfect. So with a serrated knife, go ahead and go in and split the rolls in half. Um, if you need to do it into smaller sections to make it easier, that works too. Then cut along the perforation and then slice each roll down the middle and then turn it over and cut out cubes. So this is pretty much the size of the bread that you want. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be uniform or perfect. Um, but you know, as long as they're somewhat of the same size, so that way they toast evenly. I'm just adding all the bread cubes to a baking sheet and really I should have used a bigger baking sheet because you do want the bread to crisp up. Um, go ahead and put everything in there, even the crumbs, those will make some nice bread crumbs. And then I'm getting some olive oil and just go ahead and drizzle it all over the bread. And then I also have some Italian seasoning. Um, this does not have any salt, so it's just um, some Italian seasoning without salt. And then go ahead and toss the bread around to distribute the oil and the seasoning. Now you wanna have your oven preheated to 350 degrees, and then we're going to bake it for about 15 minutes. Um, you can kind of check it halfway and toss the bread if you need to but um, I actually ended up putting it back for a little bit more because initially I just did 10 minutes, but the extra five minutes made the bread a little bit crispier. So what I love about this stuffing recipe is that it also has some Italian sausage, so it makes it really meaty, and the sausage just has so much flavor and saltiness that really goes well with the Hawaiian sweet bread. So this is um, mild Italian sausage. You can also do hot, but since my kids are eating this too, I just went with mild. Go ahead and break it up and cook it until it's fully done. And then we're adding one diced onion, a cup of diced celery, and a cup of diced carrots. You can even find this, it's called mirepoix. I think that's how you say it. Um, sometimes they already have it pre-diced at the stores, especially during Thanksgiving time, and that will definitely cut down on some chopping time. So I also have some fresh sage here. I really recommend using fresh herbs and fresh rosemary. You're just not gonna get the same um, flavor with dried herbs. So go ahead and chop that down. And then I also got four garlic cloves and just went press them through my garlic press. Give that a mix and then add the fresh rosemary and sage that we just chopped up. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells just like Thanksgiving dinner. And honestly, this is one of my favorite holidays. I love Christmas, but Thanksgiving, it's all about food. So, okay, so now I have one and a half cups of turkey broth. I just used a carton and I'm adding one egg as a binder. Go ahead and give that a whisk until it's nice and smooth. So now get a large bowl and add your toasted breadcrumbs. You can see here, these got a little bit more toasted. And of course my kitchen has lots of sunlight right now, so sorry for the direct light. All right, so once you have your breadcrumbs or your bread cubes in a bowl, add that sausage mixture. And then I'm also doing half a cup of dried cranberries. These are lightly sweetened. Um, I don't like using the sweetened cranberries because then it's a little bit too sweet. Um, or you can just do unsweetened cranberries. So add the broth and the egg, give that a mix, and then we're going to add it to our buttered casserole dish. You need to make this stuffing ahead of time. There's two different options. You can just make the sausage mixture with the onions, carrots, and celery and then combine everything the next day. You can also toast the bread cubes a day ahead of time and then just store them in a plastic bag. Or you can go ahead and bake the stuffing until it's done and then reheat it on Thanksgiving day. Personally, I like to just do the sausage mixture and the bread cubes and then make it on the day of Thanksgiving. So I baked it for 35 minutes. The smaller one ended up being um, fully cooked. 
You want it to be crispy on the outside and no longer soft in the center. So I'm actually gonna rotate the larger pan and cook it for another 10 minutes. So this one was 45 minutes total and then now it turned out perfect. You can just hear the sauce, the stuffing sizzle. Allow the stuffing to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and then it's ready to serve. Just look how beautiful the top turns out, nice and golden, and I just love all the flavors and colors in this really filling and hearty stuffing. Now for the best part, the taste test. Get a little bit of everything. You have so many delicious flavors in the stuffing, the sweetness from the Hawaiian rolls and the cranberries, and you get that meatiness and kind of spiciness from the sausage. And it's just so good. Honestly, I could eat this on its own, but it goes really good with turkey. So be sure to check out my recipe for smoked turkey. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave me in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.